The Ultimate Guide to World War II. Causes, Key Events, Consequences, and Lasting Impact. World War II was a global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945 and involved most of the world's major powers, including the United States, Great Britain, Germany, Japan, and the Soviet Union. It was the deadliest conflict in human history, with an estimated 70 to 85 million fatalities, including both military personnel and civilians. The significance of World War II cannot be overstated. It had a profound impact on the course of world history and shaped the modern world in many ways. The war was a turning point in the 20th century, marking the end of the era of colonialism and the beginning of a new era in world affairs. It also led to the emergence of the United States and the Soviet Union as superpowers and laid the groundwork for the Cold War. The origins of World War II can be traced back to the aftermath of World War I, which had left Europe devastated and deeply divided. The Treaty of Versailles, which ended World War I, imposed harsh reparations on Germany and created new tensions and rivalries between the major powers. The rise of totalitarian regimes in Germany, Italy, and Japan also contributed to the outbreak of the war, as these regimes sought to expand their territories and assert their dominance. The war was fought on multiple fronts, including Europe, Asia, and Africa, and involved a wide range of military strategies and technologies. The war saw the development of new weapons, including the atomic bomb, which was used by the United States to bring about the end of the war. The significance of World War II can be seen in its impact on the global balance of power, the emergence of new technologies and strategies in warfare, and the changes it brought about in social, economic, and political structures around the world. The war also had a profound effect on individual lives, with many families and communities torn apart by the conflict. In conclusion, World War II was a global conflict that had a profound impact on the course of world history. It marked the end of the era of colonialism and the emergence of the United States and the Soviet Union as superpowers. The war also led to the development of new technologies and strategies in warfare and brought about significant changes in social, economic, and political structures around the world. The significance of World War II continues to be felt today, as it shaped the modern world in many ways. Overview of the key events leading up to World War II The origins of World War II can be traced back to a series of events and circumstances that developed over the course of several decades leading up to the outbreak of war in 1939. These events involved geopolitical rivalries, economic crises, the rise of totalitarian regimes, and the failure of diplomacy to resolve international tensions. One of the key events leading up to World War II was the Treaty of Versailles, which ended World War I and imposed harsh reparations on Germany. The treaty created a sense of humiliation and resentment among the German people, which fueled the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party in the 1930s. Hitler was able to exploit this resentment to gain support for his aggressive foreign policies and territorial ambitions. Another key event was the failure of the League of Nations, which was established after World War I as a means of promoting international cooperation and preventing future wars. The League of Nations proved ineffective in preventing aggression by Germany, Italy, and Japan, and ultimately failed to prevent the outbreak of war. The appeasement policies pursued by Western powers in the face of German aggression also played a role in the lead-up to World War II. In an effort to avoid war, Britain and France pursued a policy of appeasement, which involved making concessions to Germany in the hopes of preventing further aggression. This policy proved ineffective and only served to embolden Hitler and the Nazi Party. The invasion of Poland by Germany in 1939 marked the beginning of World War II, as Britain and France declared war on Germany in response. The war quickly spread across Europe and beyond, as Germany's allies, Italy and Japan, also entered the conflict. The significance of the key events leading up to World War II lies in the failure of diplomacy to prevent the outbreak of war and the inability of international institutions to effectively address the geopolitical tensions of the time. The war had a profound impact on the world, leading to the deaths of millions of people and the destruction of entire cities. It also led to significant geopolitical changes, including the emergence of the United States and the Soviet Union as superpowers and the beginning of the Cold War. In conclusion, the key events leading up to World War II were characterized by geopolitical rivalries, economic crises, the rise of totalitarian regimes, and the failure of diplomacy to prevent aggression. The significance of these events lies in their role in the lead-up to the outbreak of war and their impact on the course of world history.
The lessons learned from these events continue to inform our approach to international relations and the prevention of future conflicts. The Treaty of Versailles and its Impact on World War II The Treaty of Versailles was a peace treaty signed on June 28, 1919, that officially ended World War I. The treaty was negotiated among the Allied powers, including the United States, Great Britain, and France, and Germany. It is widely regarded as one of the most controversial treaties in modern history due to its punitive measures against Germany, which many believe contributed to the rise of Adolf Hitler and the outbreak of World War II. The treaty imposed harsh reparations on Germany, including the payment of large sums of money, the loss of territory, and the disarmament of its military. The treaty also required Germany to accept responsibility for the outbreak of World War I and the resulting damages and losses suffered by the Allies. The treaty was seen as a humiliating defeat for Germany and contributed to a sense of resentment and nationalism that fueled the rise of extremist political movements. The impact of the Treaty of Versailles on World War II was significant. The harsh reparations imposed on Germany created a sense of humiliation and resentment among the German people. This led to the rise of Adolf Hitler and the Nazi Party, who were able to exploit this resentment to gain support for their aggressive foreign policies and territorial ambitions. Hitler's efforts to overturn the Treaty of Versailles were a major factor in the lead-up to World War II. He sought to expand Germany's territory and undo the reparations imposed by the treaty, which he believed were unjust. Hitler's aggressive foreign policies led to the invasion of neighboring countries and the eventual outbreak of war. The Treaty of Versailles also had an impact on international relations in the post-war period. It led to the formation of the League of Nations, which was established as a means of promoting international cooperation and preventing future wars. However, the League of Nations proved ineffective in preventing aggression by Germany, Italy, and Japan, and ultimately failed to prevent the outbreak of World War II. In conclusion, the Treaty of Versailles was a peace treaty that officially ended World War I but contributed to the rise of Adolf Hitler and the outbreak of World War II. The harsh reparations imposed on Germany created a sense of humiliation and resentment that fueled extremist political movements. The treaty also had an impact on international relations in the post-war period, leading to the formation of the League of Nations, which ultimately failed to prevent the outbreak of war. The lessons learned from the Treaty of Versailles continue to inform our approach to international relations and the prevention of future conflicts. The Rise of Fascism and the Nazi Party in Germany the rise of fascism and the Nazi party in Germany was a significant factor in the lead-up to World War II. The economic and political instability of the post-World War I period created a fertile ground for extremist political movements to gain support among the population. In Germany, this led to the rise of the Nazi party and the ascension of Adolf Hitler to power. The Nazi party was founded in 1919, and it gained support among the German population by promoting nationalist and anti-Semitic policies. Hitler, who was appointed as the leader of the Nazi party in 1921, was a charismatic speaker who was able to rally support for his extremist political agenda. The Nazi party gained popularity in the early 1930s as a result of the economic and political instability of the Weimar Republic. Germany was struggling to recover from the economic devastation of World War I, and the government was seen as weak and ineffective. The Nazi Party promised to restore Germany's strength and pride and to build a society based on fascist ideology. Hitler's aggressive foreign policies and territorial ambitions also contributed to the popularity of the Nazi Party. Hitler believed in the concept of Lebensraum, which called for the expansion of Germany's territory to create more living space for the German people. He also sought revenge for the perceived injustices of the Treaty of Versailles and sought to overturn the treaty's harsh reparations. The Nazi Party's rise to power was aided by the Enabling Act of 1933, which gave Hitler and the Nazi Party dictatorial powers to govern Germany. This marked the beginning of the Nazi regime and the establishment of a totalitarian state that sought to control all aspects of German society. The impact of the rise of fascism and the Nazi Party in Germany was significant. The Nazi Party's policies led to the persecution and murder of millions of Jews and other minority groups during the Holocaust. The Nazi regime also contributed to the outbreak of World War II through its aggressive foreign policies and territorial ambitions. In conclusion, the rise of fascism and the Nazi party in Germany was a significant factor in the lead-up to World War II. The economic and political instability of the post-World War I period created a fertile ground for extremist political movements to gain support among the population.
The Nazi Party's rise to power was aided by its nationalist and anti-Semitic policies, Hitler's aggressive foreign policies, and the Enabling Act of 1933. The impact of the Nazi regime was significant and included the persecution and murder of millions of Jews and other minority groups during the Holocaust and the contribution to the outbreak of World War II. The Appeasement Policies of Western Powers The period leading up to World War II was marked by the appeasement policies of Western powers towards aggressive expansionist states like Germany and Italy. The policy of appeasement was based on the belief that giving in to the demands of these states would prevent war and maintain peace in Europe. However, these policies ultimately failed and contributed to the outbreak of World War II. Appeasement policies were first used by the British and French in response to Germany's rearmament and territorial ambitions. In 1935, Germany announced the rearmament of its military, in violation of the Treaty of Versailles. Rather than taking a firm stance against this violation, the British and French responded with the Stresa Front, which was a statement of opposition to Germany's actions but did not result in any concrete actions. The British and French continued to follow a policy of appeasement in the years leading up to World War II. In 1936, Germany reoccupied the Rhineland, which was also in violation of the Treaty of Versailles. The British and French did not take any action in response to this violation, fearing that it would lead to war. The policy of appeasement reached its peak in 1938 when Germany demanded the annexation of the Sudetenland, which was part of Czechoslovakia. Rather than opposing this demand, the British and French chose to negotiate with Germany. This led to the signing of the Munich Agreement, which allowed Germany to annex the Sudetenland in exchange for a promise of no further territorial demands. However, this promise was not kept, and Germany went on to invade and annex the rest of Czechoslovakia in March 1939. The policy of appeasement was also followed by the United States towards Japan's aggressive expansionist policies in Asia. In 1940, Japan occupied French Indochina, which was a major blow to the Allied powers. Rather than taking a firm stance against Japan's actions, the United States responded with economic sanctions, which ultimately failed to deter Japan's aggressive expansionist policies. The policy of appeasement ultimately failed and contributed to the outbreak of World War II. By failing to take a firm stance against aggressive expansionist states, the Western powers allowed these states to continue their aggressive actions, leading to the escalation of tensions and the eventual outbreak of war. In conclusion, the policy of appeasement followed by Western powers towards aggressive expansionist states was a significant factor in the lead-up to World War II. The failure to take a firm stance against these states allowed them to continue their aggressive actions and contributed to the escalation of tensions and the outbreak of war. The policy of appeasement serves as a lesson in the importance of taking a firm stance against aggressive actions to prevent the escalation of tensions and the outbreak of war. Japanese Aggression in Asia and the Pacific In the years leading up to World War II, Japan was engaged in aggressive expansionist policies in Asia and the Pacific. The Japanese government believed in the concept of a Greater East Asia co-prosperity sphere, which aimed to create a unified, self-sufficient region under Japanese leadership. However, this aggressive expansionism ultimately led to Japan's isolation and defeat in World War II. Japan's aggressive policies began with its invasion of Manchuria in 1931. Manchuria was rich in natural resources and was seen as a potential solution to Japan's economic problems. Japan installed a puppet government in Manchuria, which it called Manchukuo, and continued to expand its territory in China. In 1937, Japan launched a full-scale invasion of China, which marked the beginning of the Second Sino-Japanese War. The war would last for eight years and result in the deaths of millions of Chinese civilians and soldiers. Japan also committed numerous war crimes during the war, including the rape of Nanking, where Japanese soldiers raped and murdered thousands of Chinese civilians. In 1940, Japan signed the Tripartite Pact with Germany and Italy, forming the Axis powers. The pact signaled Japan's alignment with Nazi Germany and its intent to expand its territory in Asia and the Pacific. In December 1941, Japan launched a surprise attack on the United States naval base at Pearl Harbor in Hawaii. The attack drew the United States into World War II and led to Japan's eventual defeat. Japan also attacked British and Dutch colonies in Southeast Asia, capturing Singapore and the Dutch East Indies. Japan's aggression in Asia and the Pacific ultimately led to its isolation and defeat in World War II. 
The aggressive expansionism and war crimes committed by Japan during the Second Sino-Japanese War and the attack on Pearl Harbor galvanized the United States and its allies against Japan. The United States responded with a strategy of island hopping, gradually pushing Japanese forces back towards Japan. In conclusion, Japan's aggressive expansionist policies in Asia and the Pacific were a significant factor in the lead-up to World War II. Japan's invasion of Manchuria, the Second Sino-Japanese War, and the attack on Pearl Harbor were all manifestations of this aggressive policy. Japan's isolation and defeat in World War II served as a lesson in the dangers of aggressive expansionism and the importance of international cooperation and diplomacy to prevent conflict. Allies, United States, Great Britain, Soviet Union, and others. World War II was fought between two major alliances, the Axis powers, which included Germany, Italy, and Japan, and the Allies, which consisted of several nations, including the United States, Great Britain, the Soviet Union, and others. In this article, we will take a closer look at the Allies and their role in the war. Formation of the Allies The Allies were formed in response to the aggression of the Axis powers, which sought to expand their territories and dominate the world. The United States, Great Britain, and France were among the first countries to join forces against the Axis powers, with the Soviet Union joining the alliance in 1941 after Germany invaded its territory. Major Powers of the Allies The three major powers of the Allies were the United States, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union, which were also known as the Big Three. These countries played a crucial role in the war effort and were responsible for many of the key victories against the Axis powers. United States The United States entered the war after the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor in December 1941. As the world's leading industrial power, the U.S. was able to provide crucial military and economic support to the Allies, including troops, supplies, and equipment. The U.S. also played a key role in the development of new military technologies, such as the atomic bomb, which was used to end the war in the Pacific. Great Britain Great Britain, which had been fighting against Germany since the beginning of the war, played a crucial role in the defense of Europe. The British Royal Navy was one of the strongest in the world and played a key role in the Battle of the Atlantic, which ensured the safe passage of Allied supply ships. British forces also played a key role in the D-Day invasion of Normandy, which was a turning point in the war. Soviet Union The Soviet Union, which suffered the highest number of casualties of any country in the war, played a crucial role in the defeat of Germany on the Eastern Front. Soviet forces engaged in some of the most brutal battles of the war, including the Siege of Stalingrad and the Battle of Kursk. The Soviet Union also played a key role in the defeat of Japan, declaring war on the country shortly before the end of the war. Other Allies In addition to the three major powers, the Allies included several other countries, including France. Although France was occupied by Germany for much of the war, it continued to fight against the Axis powers through its resistance movements and free French forces. China China had been fighting against Japan since 1937 and played a crucial role in tying down Japanese forces in Asia. Canada Canada provided crucial military support to the Allies, particularly in the form of troops, supplies, and aircraft. Australia Australia played a key role in the defense of the Pacific, particularly against Japan. Legacy of the Allies The Allies emerged victorious from World War II, but at a great cost. Millions of lives were lost, and entire cities were destroyed. However, the victory of the Allies ensured that the world would not be dominated by fascist regimes and totalitarianism. The Allies also played a crucial role in shaping the post-war world, with the formation of institutions such as the United Nations and the establishment of international laws and norms. In conclusion, the Allies, consisting of the United States, Great Britain, the Soviet Union, and other countries, played a crucial role in the defeat of the Axis powers during World War II. Through their combined military and economic power, the Allies were able to secure victory and create a more peaceful and prosperous world in the aftermath of the war. While the Allies faced many challenges and setbacks during the war, their determination and cooperation ultimately proved to be the key to their victory. The legacy of the Allies continues to be felt today, as their efforts laid the foundation for the post-war order and international cooperation. Their example serves as a reminder of the importance of standing together in the face of adversity and working towards a common goal. The Allies demonstrated the power of unity and cooperation, 
and their victory serves as a testament to the resilience and strength of the human spirit. In conclusion, the Allies were a crucial force in the defeat of the Axis powers during World War II. Their collective efforts and determination secured victory and laid the foundation for a more peaceful and prosperous world. The legacy of the Allies continues to inspire and remind us of the importance of standing together in the face of adversity and working towards a better future. The Axis powers were a group of nations led by Germany, Italy, and Japan, who fought against the Allied powers during World War II. The Axis alliance was formed in 1940 as a response to the growing military and economic power of the Allies. The Axis powers were united in their goal of expanding their territories and dominating the world. Germany, under the leadership of Adolf Hitler, sought to create a new world order based on the superiority of the Aryan race. The Nazis embarked on a campaign of conquest, annexing Austria and parts of Czechoslovakia before invading Poland in 1939, which led to the outbreak of World War II. Germany then went on to invade other European countries, including France and the Soviet Union, and launched an unsuccessful invasion of Great Britain. Italy, led by Benito Mussolini, sought to revive the glory of the Roman Empire by expanding its territories in Africa and the Mediterranean. Italy joined the Axis powers in 1940, and together with Germany, launched an unsuccessful invasion of Greece. Japan, led by Emperor Hirohito, sought to establish itself as a dominant power in the Asia-Pacific region. Japan's aggressive expansionist policies led to the invasion of China in 1937, and later the attack on Pearl Harbor in 1941, which brought the United States into the war. The Axis powers were known for their brutal tactics and disregard for human life. The Nazi regime carried out the Holocaust, the systematic extermination of six million Jews, as well as millions of other people deemed undesirable by the regime including Romani people, homosexuals, and disabled individuals. Japan was also responsible for numerous war crimes, including the rape of Nanking, in which an estimated 300,000 Chinese civilians were killed. Despite their initial military successes, the Axis powers were ultimately defeated by the Allied powers. The United States, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union, along with other Allied nations, worked together to push back against the Axis powers on multiple fronts. The turning point of the war came with the Soviet Union's victory in the Battle of Stalingrad, which halted Germany's advance into the Soviet Union. The defeat of the Axis powers brought an end to World War II and marked the beginning of a new era in world history. The legacy of the Axis powers continues to be felt today, as their actions during the war have had lasting effects on the world. The defeat of the Axis powers serves as a reminder of the importance of standing up against tyranny and working towards a more peaceful and just world. In conclusion, the Axis powers were a group of nations led by Germany, Italy, and Japan, who sought to expand their territories and dominate the world. Their brutal tactics and disregard for human life led to the deaths of millions of people and ultimately their defeat at the hands of the Allied powers. The legacy of the Axis powers serves as a reminder of the importance of standing up against tyranny and working towards a better world. Invasion of Poland and the Start of the War the invasion of Poland by Nazi Germany on September 1, 1939, marked the beginning of World War II. The invasion was the result of years of increasing tensions between Germany and Poland, and was a significant event in the lead-up to the war. Germany had long sought to expand its territory and create a greater German Reich. Adolf Hitler had promised to overturn the Treaty of Versailles, which had ended World War I and imposed harsh penalties on Germany including territorial losses and the payment of reparations. Hitler believed that Germany had been unfairly treated and sought to regain its former power and prestige. Poland, which had regained its independence after World War I, was seen as a potential threat to Germany's expansionist goals. Poland had a large population and a strategic location between Germany and the Soviet Union. Hitler believed that Poland could be easily conquered and that its resources and territory would be a valuable asset for the German war machine. In August 1939, Germany and the Soviet Union signed the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, a non-aggression pact that included a secret protocol dividing Eastern Europe into spheres of influence. The pact allowed Germany to invade Poland without fear of Soviet intervention. On September 1, 1939, Germany launched a surprise attack on Poland, using its air force and armored units to quickly overwhelm the Polish defenses. The Polish army, which was ill-equipped and poorly trained, was no match for the German war machine. 
The invasion triggered the British and French to declare war on Germany on September 3, 1939, leading to the start of World War II. The invasion of Poland was a significant event in the lead-up to World War II, and marked the beginning of the conflict. The invasion demonstrated the aggressive expansionist goals of Nazi Germany and the willingness of Hitler to use military force to achieve those goals. The invasion also highlighted the failure of appeasement policies by Western powers, who had failed to respond to Germany's earlier annexation of Austria and occupation of Czechoslovakia. The invasion of Poland led to the mobilization of millions of troops and the use of new technologies and tactics, such as air power and armored units. The war would last for six long years, resulting in the deaths of millions of soldiers and civilians and the destruction of much of Europe. The invasion of Poland and the start of World War II would have a lasting impact on world history, shaping international relations and the course of the 20th century. In conclusion, the invasion of Poland by Nazi Germany marked the beginning of World War II and demonstrated the aggressive expansionist goals of Hitler and the Nazi regime. The invasion triggered the start of the war and highlighted the failure of appeasement policies by Western powers. The war that followed would have a lasting impact on world history, shaping the course of the 20th century and beyond. The Battle of Britain and the Blitz The Battle of Britain and the Blitz were two of the most significant events of World War II, and marked a turning point in the war. The Battle of Britain was fought in the skies over southern England between July and October 1940, and was a key victory for the Royal Air Force RAF, over the German Luftwaffe. The Blitz, which followed the Battle of Britain, was a sustained bombing campaign by the Germans against British cities and civilian populations. The Battle of Britain began on July 10, 1940, with a series of attacks by the German Luftwaffe on RAF airfields and installations. The RAF responded with fierce resistance, and the Germans suffered heavy losses. The battle continued throughout the summer, with the RAF gradually gaining the upper hand. The British use of radar and effective communication systems gave them a tactical advantage, and the Germans were eventually forced to abandon their plans for a full-scale invasion of Britain. The Battle of Britain was a significant victory for the British, and marked the first major defeat of the Germans in World War II. The victory was a morale boost for the British people, who had been under the threat of invasion for several months. The battle also highlighted the importance of air power in modern warfare, and led to the development of new technologies and tactics for air combat. Following the Battle of Britain, the Germans launched a sustained bombing campaign against British cities, known as the Blitz. The bombing began on September 7, 1940, and continued for eight months, until May 1941. The aim of the Blitz was to destroy the morale of the British people and force them to surrender. The Blitz was a devastating event, with thousands of civilians killed and injured, and many more left homeless. The bombing targeted civilian areas, including residential neighborhoods and industrial centers. The bombing caused widespread destruction and chaos, but the British people showed remarkable resilience and determination, and the country continued to function despite the destruction. The Blitz had a significant impact on the course of the war and on British society. The bombing led to the development of new civil defense measures, such as air raid shelters and blackout regulations. The bombing also highlighted the need for increased industrial production and led to the mobilization of women in the workforce. The Blitz also marked a shift in German tactics, from the use of air power to the use of ground forces. In conclusion, the Battle of Britain and the Blitz were two significant events of World War II, marking a turning point in the war. The Battle of Britain was a key victory for the British, demonstrating the importance of air power and boosting morale. The Blitz was a devastating event, targeting civilian populations and causing widespread destruction. The events highlighted the importance of civil defense measures and increased industrial production, and had a lasting impact on British society in the course of the war. Operation Barbarossa was the code name for the German invasion of the Soviet Union during World War II. It was the largest and most ambitious military operation in history, involving millions of troops, thousands of tanks, and aircraft. The invasion had significant consequences for both Germany and the Soviet Union and changed the course of the war. In this article, we will discuss the events that led to Operation Barbarossa and the key battles that took place on the Eastern Front. In August 1939, Germany and the Soviet Union signed the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, a non-aggression agreement that included secret protocols dividing Eastern Europe into spheres of influence. However, in June 1941, Germany violated the pact and launched a surprise invasion of the Soviet Union. 
The German army, under the command of General Adolf Hitler, launched a three-pronged attack on the Soviet Union with the aim of capturing Moscow, Leningrad, and the oil fields of the Caucasus. The invasion began on June 22, 1941, with the German army crossing the border into the Soviet Union. The initial phase of the operation was successful, with the German army advancing deep into Soviet territory and capturing millions of Soviet prisoners. However, the harsh winter and the vastness of the Soviet Union took a toll on the German army, and the Soviet Union began to mount a counteroffensive. Key Battles on the Eastern Front Battle of Stalingrad The Battle of Stalingrad was a turning point in the war, and one of the bloodiest battles in human history. It took place between August 1942 and February 1943, and was fought in and around the city of Stalingrad, now Volgograd, in southern Russia. The battle was a major defeat for Germany, as it resulted in the loss of hundreds of thousands of soldiers and marked the beginning of Germany's retreat from the Eastern Front. Siege of Leningrad The Siege of Leningrad was a prolonged military blockade of the city of Leningrad, now St. Petersburg, by German and Finnish forces. The siege lasted from September 1941 to January 1944 and resulted in the deaths of over one million people, mostly civilians. Despite the heavy losses, the Soviet Union was able to hold out and eventually break the siege, marking a significant victory for the Soviet Union on the Eastern Front. Battle of Kursk The Battle of Kursk was the largest tank battle in history and took place in July 1943 near the city of Kursk in western Russia. It was a major offensive launched by Germany against the Soviet Union and was intended to be a decisive victory for Germany. However, the Soviet Union was able to repel the German attack, and the battle ended in a major defeat for Germany. Operation Barbarossa and the Eastern Front were critical to the outcome of World War II. The invasion of the Soviet Union was the largest and most ambitious military operation in history, but ultimately ended in defeat for Germany. The Eastern Front was the scene of some of the bloodiest battles in human history, and the Soviet Union's victory over Germany was a turning point in the war. The legacy of Operation Barbarossa and the Eastern Front continues to be felt today, and serves as a reminder of the horrors of war and the sacrifices made by millions of people. Pearl Harbor and the Entry of the United States into the War On December 7, 1941, the Japanese launched a surprise attack on the American naval base at Pearl Harbor, Hawaii. The attack resulted in the deaths of over 2,400 Americans, the destruction of numerous ships and aircraft, and the crippling of the U.S. Pacific Fleet. This attack was a turning point in the war, as it led to the entry of the United States into the conflict. In the years leading up to the attack, tensions between Japan and the United States had been steadily increasing. Japan had been expanding its empire through conquest and had occupied much of China, as well as parts of Southeast Asia. The United States, along with other Western powers, had placed economic sanctions on Japan in an attempt to stop its aggression. In response, Japan began planning a preemptive strike against the United States to neutralize its Pacific fleet and gain control over the region. The attack on Pearl Harbor was carefully planned and executed by the Japanese. A total of 353 Japanese aircraft were involved in the attack, which lasted two hours. The Japanese launched their attack in two waves, targeting the battleships, aircraft carriers, and other key installations in the harbor. The surprise nature of the attack caught the American forces off guard, and the Japanese were able to inflict significant damage before being repelled. The attack on Pearl Harbor was a devastating blow to the United States, but it also had significant consequences for Japan. The attack led to the entry of the United States into the war, as President Franklin D. Roosevelt declared war on Japan the following day. The attack also resulted in a wave of anti-Japanese sentiment in the United States, which led to the internment of Japanese Americans and other discriminatory measures. The entry of the United States into the war proved to be a turning point in the conflict. The industrial and military might of the United States, coupled with the resources of its allies, would prove to be instrumental in the eventual defeat of Japan and the Axis powers. The attack on Pearl Harbor also highlighted the importance of intelligence and preparedness in national defense, and led to significant reforms in the United States military and intelligence agencies. The attack on Pearl Harbor was a tragic event that led to the loss of many lives and significant damage to American infrastructure. However, it also marked a turning point in the war, as it led to the entry of the United States into the conflict and ultimately contributed to the Allied victory. The attack remains a stark reminder of the importance of preparedness and intelligence in national defense.
D-Day and the Normandy invasion was one of the largest amphibious military operations in history and a significant turning point in World War II. This operation, led by the Allied forces, marked the beginning of the end of the war in Europe. In this article, we will delve into the details of this operation, its planning, execution, and significance. The planning for the D-Day invasion began soon after the United States entered the war. It was initially proposed by British Prime Minister Winston Churchill and was later supported by U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt. The plan involved a massive invasion of German-occupied France by the Allies, with the goal of establishing a beachhead in Normandy. The invasion was planned for June 5, 1944, but was postponed for 24 hours due to bad weather. The Allied forces faced several challenges in planning the invasion, including determining the location of the invasion, securing the necessary resources, and coordinating the various military units involved. On June 6, 1944, over 156,000 Allied troops, including soldiers from the United States, Great Britain, and Canada, landed on the beaches of Normandy, France. The operation involved a complex amphibious assault, with troops landing on five different beaches, Omaha, Utah, Gold, Juneau, and Sword. The invasion was met with fierce resistance from German forces, who were heavily entrenched in the area. The Allies faced significant casualties and setbacks, but ultimately, they were able to establish a beachhead and gain a foothold in France. The success of the D-Day invasion was a significant turning point in World War II. It marked the beginning of the end of the war in Europe and was a critical step in the eventual defeat of Germany. The Allies were able to establish a secure beachhead in Normandy, allowing them to launch further attacks and push the German forces back. The invasion also had a significant psychological impact, both on the Allied forces and the German army. The Allies were able to demonstrate their strength and resolve, while the German forces were shaken by the unexpected attack. The D-Day invasion and the Normandy invasion were a critical moment in World War II. The success of the operation allowed the Allies to gain a foothold in France, leading to the eventual defeat of Germany. It remains one of the most significant military operations in history and serves as a testament to the bravery and sacrifice of those who fought and died for their countries. The Battle of Stalingrad was a major turning point in World War II, as it marked the Fernrad was a critical turning point in the war on the Eastern Front. It marked the first decisive defeat of the German army and provided a much-needed morale boost to the Soviet Union and its allies. The battle was also significant for the civilian population of Stalingrad, who endured tremendous hardship and showed incredible resilience in the face of the German invasion. Atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki were two major events that happened during World War II, which have been the subject of much debate and discussion. On August 6, 1945, the United States dropped an atomic bomb on the city of Hiroshima, Japan, followed by another on Nagasaki three days later. The bombings were the first and only time that nuclear weapons have been used in warfare, and they had a profound impact on the outcome of the war in the world. The decision to use nuclear weapons was made by President Harry S. Truman, who was briefed on the Manhattan Project, a top-secret research and development program to create the atomic bomb, shortly after taking office following the death of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Truman was faced with a difficult decision as the war in the Pacific dragged on and casualties mounted. He was presented with several options, including a full-scale invasion of Japan, which was expected to result in a high number of American and Japanese casualties. Truman ultimately decided to use the atomic bomb in the hopes that it would force Japan to surrender and bring an end to the war. The bombing of Hiroshima resulted in the deaths of an estimated 140,000 people, with many more suffering from injuries and radiation sickness in the weeks and months following the attack. The bombing of Nagasaki resulted in another estimated 70,000 deaths. The impact of the bombings was felt far beyond Japan. They demonstrated the devastating power of nuclear weapons and ushered in a new era of global politics and international relations. The bombings also played a role in shaping the post-war world, including the formation of the United Nations and the start of the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union. The decision to use nuclear weapons has been the subject of much debate and controversy. Some argue that the bombings were necessary to bring an end to the war and save lives, while others argue that they were unnecessary and constituted a war crime. The legacy of the bombings is still felt today, with ongoing discussions about nuclear weapons and their role in global politics and security. In conclusion, the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki were a defining moment in World War II and the history of the world. 
The decision to use nuclear weapons had a profound impact on the outcome of the war and set the stage for a new era of global politics and international relations. The bombings continue to be the subject of much debate and controversy, and their legacy is still felt today. Casualties and loss of life during World War II were staggering and unprecedented, making it one of the deadliest conflicts in human history. Millions of people lost their lives in battles, bombings, and other atrocities during the war. The impact of World War II on the world was significant, and the cost in human lives cannot be underestimated. The total number of casualties during World War II is estimated to be between 70 and 85 million people, including military personnel and civilians. The exact number of casualties is difficult to determine due to the scale of the war and the lack of accurate records, particularly in some countries. Military casualties during the war were substantial, with an estimated 21 million deaths and 37 million wounded or missing in action. The Soviet Union suffered the highest number of military casualties, with over 10 million deaths. Germany suffered the second highest number of military casualties, with over 5 million deaths. Civilian casualties during the war were also significant, with an estimated 50 million people losing their lives. Civilians were killed in bombings, massacres, forced labor, and other atrocities. The Holocaust, in which an estimated 6 million Jews were systematically murdered by the Nazi regime, was a major contributor to civilian casualties. The bombing of cities and civilian areas became a common tactic during the war, with the Allied powers and Axis powers both engaging in bombing campaigns. The bombing of London, Coventry, and other British cities during the Blitz resulted in thousands of civilian deaths. The Allied bombing campaigns against Germany, including the firebombing of Dresden, resulted in the deaths of hundreds of thousands of civilians. The war also saw numerous war crimes and atrocities committed by both sides. The Nanjing Massacre, in which Japanese troops killed an estimated 300,000 Chinese civilians and soldiers, was one of the most notorious war crimes of the war. The Bataan Death March, in which Japanese soldiers forced American and Filipino prisoners of war to march over 60 miles to a prison camp, resulted in the deaths of thousands of prisoners. In conclusion, the casualties and loss of life during World War II were staggering and had a profound impact on the world. The human toll of the war serves as a reminder of the need to strive for peace and diplomacy in international relations. Economic and political consequences of World War II were immense and far-reaching, affecting the global economy and international relations for decades to come. In this article, we will explore the economic and political aftermath of the war and its impact on different countries and regions. Economic Consequences World War II left many countries in ruins, with infrastructure and industrial capacity severely damaged. The war had also depleted many nations' financial resources, leaving them with huge debts and scarce resources. To rebuild their economies, many countries implemented various economic policies, including government intervention, protectionism, and international trade agreements. In the United States, the war had a significant impact on the economy leading to increased government involvement in economic affairs. The government implemented policies such as price controls, rationing, and increased taxation to finance the war effort. After the war, the U.S. government invested heavily in infrastructure, education, and research and development, which led to economic growth and prosperity in the post-war years. In Europe, the war had a devastating impact on the economy, with many countries facing high levels of inflation, unemployment, and poverty. To address these challenges, the European nations formed the European Union EU, which aimed to promote economic integration and cooperation. The EU implemented various policies, including the establishment of a common market and a single currency, which led to economic growth and stability in the region. The war also had a significant impact on Japan's economy, which was left in ruins after the atomic bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. In the post-war years, Japan focused on rebuilding its economy and establishing a strong industrial base. The government implemented various economic policies, including export-oriented growth, which led to significant economic growth and development in Japan. Political Consequences The political consequences of World War II were significant and far-reaching, with the war fundamentally altering the global political landscape. The war had resulted in the rise of the United States and the Soviet Union as superpowers, leading to the emergence of the Cold War. The war also led to the formation of the United Nations UN, which aimed to promote international cooperation and prevent future wars. 
The UN was established in 1945 and provided a forum for countries to discuss global issues and promote peace and security. In Europe, the war led to the breakup of colonial empires, with many countries gaining independence and forming new nations. The war also led to the establishment of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization (NATO), which aimed to provide collective defense against potential Soviet aggression. In Asia, the war had a significant impact on the region's political landscape, with many countries gaining independence and forming new nations. The war also led to the emergence of the United States as a dominant power in the region, with the U.S. providing economic and military assistance to many countries in Asia. In conclusion, the economic and political consequences of World War II were significant and far-reaching, affecting the global economy and international relations for decades to come. The war had left many countries in ruins, and the post-war period was characterized by efforts to rebuild and promote economic growth and stability. The war also had a significant impact on the political landscape, leading to the rise of superpowers and the formation of international organizations aimed at promoting peace and security. Formation of the United Nations The formation of the United Nations UN, was one of the most significant political consequences of World War II. The UN was established in 1945 as an intergovernmental organization to promote international cooperation and prevent future wars. The idea of creating an international organization to prevent future wars had been discussed for years, but it was not until the devastation of World War II that it gained widespread support. In January 1942, representatives from 26 countries met in Washington, D.C. to sign the Declaration of the United Nations pledging to support the Allied powers in the war against the Axis powers. This was the first use of the term, United Nations, and it marked the beginning of the international organization that would later be established. We will mention some of the key lessons learned from World War II. The dangers of appeasement. The policy of appeasement pursued by the Western powers in the lead-up to the war, especially towards Nazi Germany, was a significant factor in the outbreak of the conflict. The failure to stand up to aggression and appease the aggressor only emboldened Hitler and ultimately led to the war. The need for international cooperation. The United Nations was established in the aftermath of World War II to prevent another global conflict from happening. The organization serves as a forum for countries to work together and resolve disputes peacefully through diplomacy and international law. The horrors of genocide. The Holocaust, which resulted in the deaths of six million Jews and millions of other people, is a reminder of the dangers of hate and prejudice. The world must work to prevent such atrocities from happening again. The importance of alliances. The successful alliance between the United States, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union was a key factor in the defeat of Nazi Germany. The power of alliances in preventing conflicts and achieving common goals has been demonstrated time and time again. The impact of technological advances, the development and use of nuclear weapons during World War II changed the world forever. The destructive power of these weapons was unprecedented and led to a new era of international relations, one in which nuclear arms control became a key concern. The cost of war. The human and economic cost of World War II was immense. The war resulted in the deaths of millions of people and caused significant damage to infrastructure and economies around the world. The world must strive to prevent such destruction and loss of life in the future. Overall, World War II was a tragic and devastating event that changed the course of history. The lessons learned from the war have helped to shape international relations and prevent another global conflict from occurring. It is important to remember the sacrifices made by those who fought and died in the war and to work towards a peaceful and prosperous future for all. Memorialization and remembrance of World War II is an important topic that continues to be relevant today. The war resulted in millions of deaths and tremendous suffering across the world, and remembering the sacrifices made during the war is essential to understanding the lessons learned and the importance of preventing such a tragedy from occurring again. One way in which World War II is remembered is through memorials and monuments dedicated to the war and its victims. These can take many forms, including museums, statues, and cemeteries, and can be found in many countries around the world. These memorials serve as reminders of the impact of the war and the importance of preserving peace. One of the most well-known World War II memorials is the Holocaust Memorial in Berlin, Germany. This striking structure consists of over 2,700 concrete slabs arranged in a grid pattern, with the ground sloping downward toward the center. 
The memorial is intended to represent the feeling of disorientation and confusion experienced by victims of the Holocaust, and serves as a powerful reminder of the atrocities committed during the war. Another important memorial is the Hiroshima Peace Memorial Park in Japan. This park contains a museum and various monuments dedicated to the victims of the atomic bombing of Hiroshima, which occurred on August 6, 1945. The park serves as a reminder of the devastation caused by nuclear weapons and the importance of nuclear disarmament. Remembrance of World War II also takes place through annual ceremonies and events, such as Remembrance Day in the United Kingdom and Veterans Day in the United States. These events honor the sacrifices made by soldiers and civilians alike during the war, and serve as a reminder of the importance of peace and cooperation between nations. In addition to formal events and memorials, Remembrance of World War II can also take place on a personal level through family stories and traditions. Many families have stories of ancestors who fought in the war or were affected by it in some way. And passing down these stories helps to keep the memory of the war alive and relevant. Overall, memorialization and remembrance of World War II is essential to understanding the impact of the war and the importance of working towards peace and understanding between nations. Through memorials, events, and personal traditions, we can ensure that the sacrifices made during the war are never forgotten. World War II was one of the most significant events of the 20th century and continues to have a major impact on global politics today. The war had profound effects on the world order, with the rise of superpowers, the establishment of international institutions, and the emergence of new alliances and rivalries. In this article, we will discuss the continued relevance of World War II in contemporary global politics. The war marked the emergence of the United States and the Soviet Union as superpowers, which dominated the world during the Cold War era. The United States became the leader of the Western world, promoting democracy, capitalism, and freedom, while the Soviet Union established a socialist bloc in Eastern Europe and Asia. The power struggle between the two superpowers defined international relations for the next four decades, shaping global politics and influencing the course of world history. The UN was officially established on October 24, 1945, with the signing of the UN Charter by 51 countries. The Charter outlined the purposes and principles of the UN, including maintaining international peace and security, promoting human rights and social progress, and providing a forum for countries to work together on common issues. One of the key components of the UN is the General Assembly, which is made up of representatives from all member states. The General Assembly meets annually to discuss and make decisions on important global issues, such as peacekeeping operations, climate change, and human rights. Another important component of the UN is the Security Council, which is responsible for maintaining international peace and security. The Security Council is made up of 15 members, including five permanent members, China, France, Russia, the United Kingdom, and the United States, and 10 non-permanent members who are elected for two-year terms. The UN has played a crucial role in global affairs since its establishment. It has facilitated the negotiation of numerous international treaties and conventions, including the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and the Paris Agreement on Climate Change. The UN has also played a vital role in peacekeeping operations around the world, including in places such as Bosnia and Herzegovina, Kosovo, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. However, the UN has faced criticism and challenges throughout its history. Some have argued that it is ineffective and bureaucratic, and that it has failed to prevent or resolve conflicts in various parts of the world. Others have criticized the dominance of the five permanent members of the Security Council, who hold veto power over important decisions. Despite these challenges, the UN remains a crucial forum for international cooperation and a symbol of the world's commitment to preventing future wars and promoting peace and prosperity for all. The end of World War II marked the beginning of a new era in international relations. The victorious Allied powers, led by the United States, Great Britain, and the Soviet Union, established the framework for a new world order, characterized by the rise of the United Nations and the division of Europe into Western and Eastern spheres of influence. This division ultimately led to the Cold War, a period of geopolitical tension and ideological conflict between the two superpowers. The origins of the Cold War can be traced back to the post-World War II period, as the United States and the Soviet Union emerged as the dominant global powers. The two countries had vastly different political and economic systems, with the United States promoting democracy and capitalism, and the Soviet Union advocating for communism. 
Tensions between the two countries were further exacerbated by disagreements over the post-war reorganization of Europe, particularly the division of Germany and the future of Eastern Europe. The division of Europe into Western and Eastern spheres of influence was solidified with the establishment of the Iron Curtain, a term coined by British Prime Minister Winston Churchill in 1946 to describe the line separating the Soviet-controlled countries of Eastern Europe from the democratic countries of the West. This division was also reflected in the formation of military alliances, with the United States and its Western European allies establishing NATO, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, in 1949, while the Soviet Union and its Eastern European allies formed the Warsaw Pact in 1955. The Cold War era was characterized by a series of proxy wars and diplomatic standoffs between the United States and the Soviet Union. The most notable of these was the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962, in which the United States and the Soviet Union came dangerously close to nuclear war over the placement of Soviet missiles in Cuba. In addition to military tensions, the Cold War also had significant cultural and economic implications. The United States and the Soviet Union engaged in a propaganda war, each seeking to promote their own political and economic systems as superior to the other. The United States implemented policies such as the Marshall Plan to promote economic development in Western Europe, while the Soviet Union focused on building up its own economy and spreading communist ideology through its support of communist movements around the world. The Cold War officially came to an end in 1991 with the collapse of the Soviet Union. The dissolution of the Soviet Union and the subsequent transition of many Eastern European countries to democratic forms of government marked the end of the division of Europe and the beginning of a new era of international relations. The division of Europe into Western and Eastern spheres of influence during the Cold War had significant political, economic, and cultural implications. It led to a period of geopolitical tension and ideological conflict between the United States and the Soviet Union, and resulted in the formation of military alliances and proxy wars. However, with the collapse of the Soviet Union and the end of the Cold War, the world entered a new era characterized by a more interconnected and globalized international system. World War II was a global conflict that lasted from 1939 to 1945 and resulted in the deaths of millions of people, the displacement of millions more, and significant changes to the political and economic landscape of the world. In the aftermath of the war, countries around the world reflected on the lessons learned and sought to prevent such a catastrophic event from happening again.